The Alibo Development Foundation, ADF, was established following the International Colloquium on the Igbo Question in Nigeria held in Enugu from the 11th of March to the 14th of March 2014. The ADF is a registered non-governmental organization that brings together the Igbo intelligentsia, the elders, the clergy, patriotic public figures, women and the youth, both at home and abroad, with the main objective of protecting and ensuring the survival of Ndibo, revitalizing the spirit of our culture and civilization, and focusing on the rebuilding and development of the Igbo nation in order to make her a major player in world affairs. In pursuit of the central goal of the rebuilding and development of Alibo, ADF set up a committee on business and investment promoted two consultative fora of Igbo business leaders in Lagos and Abuja, organized the first conference of Igbo business leaders at Enugu, and launched the Igbo Think Home philosophy or the Akurolo movement. The Igbo Think Home philosophy or Akurolo movement is one that encourages every Igbo man to invest his ideas, his goals and part of all of his businesses within the Igbo geographical enclave for the sole reason of helping in the rapid development of Igbo land. It is surmised that the Igbo investment in other parts of Nigeria is more than 700% of their investment in Igbo land. Assuming 50% of these investments are brought to Igbo land, the Igbo shall be on their way to becoming the Japan of Africa. During the conference of the World Igbo Congress WIC held at Ascot Resort Hotel, Enugu on May 27, 2017, the ADF delegates listening to His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, the former governor of Anambra State, as he told the story of how he encouraged and promoted the growth of indigenous businesses in the state by providing financial lifelines to the investors, placing order for their products and paying in advance during his tenure as the executive governor of Anambra State. The investors and investments involved are some of the big names in the investment and development of not only Anambra State but also of Alibo as well as the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Among them are Innocent and Chikasen. Because of the relevance of this story to the ADF program on investment and development, the ADF decided to begin her industrial tour of Alibo by practically touching base with the enormous processes of business and industrialization going on in Alibo through the case study of the businesses mentioned and document the information for purposes of encouraging other governors and those who are in a position to contribute in the development of indigenous investment and entrepreneurship in Alibo, thereby promoting the ADF-motivated Akurolo movement which is already raging throughout Alibo. The ADF team on the industrial tour was led by Maazi Sam Ohabonwa OFR, the president of ADF, Professor Uzode Mawala, and the chairman ADF Board of Trustees, Dr. Dozi Ikedife, were present during the tour. The rest of the ADF team included Dr. Onye Bujie, Deputy Secretary of ADF, Honorable Abia Onyike, Chairman of ADF Publicity Bureau, Colonel Justino Ezooke, Publicity Secretary, Barista Max Ozoaka, Chairman of ADF Federal Character Committee, Professor Obioma Heduru, Secretary of ADF Census Committee, Dr. J.C. Chukwokolu, Financial Secretary of ADF and Coordinator of the Tour, Honorable Emmanuel Mok, Secretary of ADF Business and Investment Committee. Others are Dikin Chukwemeka Okechuku, ADF Membership Secretary, Mr. P.C. Chuku, a member of the ADF Working Committee, and Mr. Chi Diugu, member of ADF Business and Investment Committee. The ADF decided to invite Mr. Peter Obi, former governor of Anambra State, to accompany the team on the industrial tour. He graciously agreed. The industrial tour, which began with a courtesy visit to the home of the veteran politician and leader, Chief Mbasulika Amechi, took the ADF team to Newe precisely to the giant vehicle manufacturing company, IVM, Innocent Manufacturing Vehicle Company. From there, the team left for Onisha and visited the Interfat Company, one of the largest breweries in West Africa, then to the Golden Oil Company, and lastly to the fascinating Modern Living Products Company, one of the biggest furniture manufacturing outfits in Nigeria. Here are highlights of the visit to Chief Mbazuka Amechi. <laughs> I 
Me with my cover chair. And that cover, it will look behind. A colloquial material, you know, can I ask. The title of the Igbo, colloquial on the Igbo question in Nigeria. Mind the Kowasi Henile, I will not be. Without any debate, we see a non opera, we see a non hum. We have all Nuku, we have all Yemu. On the other hand, we have a hang of Wazik and I now, boy, the kids. Then we go sign, I leave you. I think you already move forward. So I have not explained that message. Mind the U.S. of American guys to the Gacha without a photo of it. The Gacha ain't in any. All you have to do is join. They got a prominent body. The body member. All the member. The Kenga. Chairman of our DOT. Now you do. Now I have to ask you. Now I have to ask you. You do it first. You don't want to lose it ever. I'm going to be good at the name. I am Wapu Nage. In the bay, oh my God, you need to go to the door of Haka. Develop the world of Haka. You need to go to the world of Haka. Industrially and technologically. あ、別にな、いろんな、いろんな、別にな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな、いろんな
His Excellency Mr. Pitobi ensured the enhancement of this company by awarding multi billion naira contracts to it for the manufacture of buses, SUVs, and pickups for government and indigenous use. The administration provided the financial lifeline to the company by paying in advance. This gave the company the needed boost to thrive to its resplendent performance. 70% of the car parts are produced locally, while the rest is imported from Japan, China, and Germany. Among the models of IVM are the 5-seater Fox 1.5-liter engine, Omo 2-liter engine, and Ozo, the minibus. The innocent story began in 1981, when Chief Chukuma ventured fully into the motorcycle parts thread under the name Innocent Nigeria Limited. It was this seed so many years ago that flourished and multiplied like a mustard seed into the many companies under the big umbrella called the Innocent Group. Innocent Nigeria Limited prompted a revolution in the motorcycle industry in Nigeria, which ripples are still lingering in the market. Less than 10 years after going into making motorcycles locally, Chief Innocent Chukuma branched into plastic manufacturing in 2002 by establishing the Innocent Technical and Industrial Company Limited, located in MNE Enugu State. This company became the manufacturer of first great plastic products for household use, industrial applications and export. At the last count, Innocent Technical and Industrial Company Limited makes more than 60 plastic products with the list steadily growing as fresh molds are added to the production lines. Not surprisingly, IVM has become a major supplier of buses to the country's transportation sector, including the mass transit scheme launched on January 8, 2012 by former President Jonathan. The innocent vehicles are produced indigenously in Inewi for aside the fact that the nameplate they are wearing is IVM or innocent and not the name of any foreign brand, there is also an appreciable level of local content in every unit. Chief Chukuma has also set up the Innocent Motor Manufacturing Company Training School. This school has the immense potential to train various categories of auto repairers and workers, mechanics, vulcanizers, etc. This will provide artisans equipped with adequate technical know-how to deal with various categories of auto services, etc. In recognition of his contributions to the business and productive sectors, Chief Chukuma and his business empire have at different times won several awards, honors, and recognitions, including Officer of the Federal Republic OFR in November 2011. Car manufacturing company or assembly. Upon here? Yes. 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 I'm lucky by having His Excellency P2B on seat during the time the factory was commissioned. After P2B, he said the factory. There was a guy. I feel that this factory is a good thing for Nigeria and give me a heavy support. Number one is that he, bought, he gave me an order of buses to supply all the secondary school in Nana State. The other took me about uh, five months to produce and he paid me in advance to make sure I, do it. I, I produce it for him. After some time, he told me he need to pick up. I don't, even, I don't even have the pickup on ground. He asked me, can I produce pickup? That I haven't started pickup. I tell him, as far as he needed, I will do it. Because of that thing, I started pickup. And uh, he buy pickup for all the securities, all the local government, all the town, you know, in this country, uh, in this state. And that order he gave me motivated me a lot, gave me encouragement, shows me that this is a good thing I'm doing, and and uh, I supply all the other, and he was very happy. It was commissioned. After that, he see that the market is not good. He called me again. He want to give all the traditional lawyers. Can I be able to produce uh, a, um, SUV for him? I said no problem. This is not this is manufacturing. I will try. Then because of him, I produce SUV for for, for all the traditional lawyers in other states. And the beauty of it is that he paid me in advance oh. to make sure you have the capital. I, have, I have capital to do it. And that is why this factory grows easily. Grows good. If you come to Yes. Wow.